Uh, good morning. This will be my first video uh, about my my new bike. What I have here is a 2023 Royal Enfield Interceptor 650. And I really like this bike. I bought it, bought it last month and went to Manila and, uh, and shopped for it. Liked what I saw. Uh, I was originally interested in the Himalayan, uh, and I was planning to, to get a Himalayan, but when I saw this bike, I kind of changed gears there and uh, decided on this. Uh, this particular model was called the Baker Express, and that refers to the paint scheme. I really like the, uh, the, the red and white. It's more of a kind of a, a cream white, which, which I always wanted. Um, they had a special going on when, when, uh, when I was in Manila, and they offered 25,000 pesos uh, discount uh, for, I think it was just one or two weeks. So I took that 25,000 pesos and I used it for accessories, of course. I added the fly screen in the white color. I added a uh, black engine guards, engine guard, and uh, I added saddle bags. These are Royal Enfield accessories. The saddle bags are a combination of cloth and leather, leather and uh, it came with the frame for the bags. I also added, what else did I add? I think that's all the accessories that I can remember adding. Uh, but if you know me, uh, anytime I get a new vehicle, it's gonna be time to upgrade and I had a unique experience. I ordered some, I first ordered some parts from two companies in Great Britain. One uh, called Tech Bikes, T-E-C Bikes. And the other one is called Hickox. And they both seem to be very plugged into the Royal Enfield scene. Well, basically also just the general custom bike scene there in England. And uh, they ha have a lot of YouTube videos, and uh, they seem like good companies. And they and they are. They uh, the two big orders that I made arrived. I have I have one from Tech Parts that came, and uh, but the other one from Hickox is still stuck in customs. And. I tell you what, I'll never, never make a, a large order like that again because they um, come to find out there's a 50,000 peso limit when you import something, and above that threshold, you have to. They assume that you're a business, and you know they they ask for all kinds of documentation: your bank, uh, business account, your uh, TIN number and all this, all this stuff. And what made it worse for me was my PayPal account still had my old business name on it. And when you when you order from PayPal, uh, if you don't know this, that if the company prints that shipping label from the automated process, it lists your business name above your address and that's what they did. So my business has been closed for 23 years, but when they saw the business name above my name, you know, they, and it was over 50,000 pesos, so they uh, started treating it as a business import, which then they, they apply the, uh, the tariffs. So you're gonna pay tariffs which is the same thing as duty. And then you're gonna pay VAT. The value added tax here in the Philippines is 
basically sales tax. So I'm, and I'm okay with the 12% sales tax. That's a fact of life, you know. Uh, but I got hit with the, with the duty and I just wasn't expecting it because I ordered uh, things from, from, from China and from India and they, they just sailed right through. So I wasn't expecting the, the tariff. And the, so I paid a, a hefty sum in tariffs and I'm still okay with that because I wanted the parts. I can't get those parts anywhere else. Uh, so my my box from Hickox is still in Manila. I, they, I don't know what they're doing. They, I keep getting <clears throat> messages that the customs process is still churning along. <clears throat> and uh, the shipper was DHL, which they're doing a pretty good job, but the uh, they keep, you know, it's just just hung up in, in customs. They said it was approved, and then they tell you how much the tariffs are, and then you have to email back saying, yes, I approve that the amount. And then they give you a link to pay online. So uh, the first box, I did that, and it, it came through. Uh, but I'm still waiting on the second box. But let me show you what I bought for, this is from Tech Parts. And what I really liked about uh, what they had here is the, the, tur the turn signals on, on the bike are, are pretty big and they're, they're just chrome plastic and I didn't like that. Uh, so I ordered these aftermarket turn signals all the way around and this design is called the slug and uh, these are supposedly plug-and-play and, play. and uh, I'm going to see what how they fit up today but if you I don't know if you can see the difference but I'll show you better uh, it's just going to clean the bike up a lot I think and so that's a turn signal, and I also purchased a brake light. Now this brake light will replace, you know, you're familiar with production brake lights, they're really big, so it's got a really big tail light. Uh, but this is going to replace that. So, and along with the rear slug turn signals as well. I think that'll clean up the back end. And then, you know, the big the big item that I purchased from Tech Parts. SNS two into one race exhaust. And I looked at a lot of exhausts. I looked at slip ons, uh, just replacing the muffler, the rear part of the exhaust. I looked at some other designs, but I, re I really like this SNS bottle. It's very light. And this is what the silencer looks like. It's all stainless steel, straight through design. And I believe this does have a uh, removable baffle. So you can run baffled or unbaffled. I know it's gonna be loud uh, but here in the Philippines, that's it's not a problem uh, with no with noise. So we've got we're going to fit this exhaust. I specifically asked if the exhaust would fit um, with the factory engine guard, and they assured me it would. That's what it said on the website. So we will see about that. If you don't already know, the 
the factory exhaust on this model is uh, obviously it's made for compliance um, and it's very heavy I think just the just the uh, the, bat, the the silencers just by themselves are like five kilos each and then uh, the factory pipes are, are a lot heavier than this so I think this entire exhaust here, the SNS, uh, weighs less than just one of those baffles on the factory. So I'm going to fit this up and fit the turn signals up and wait for my other box from Hickox 